Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Paranautical Activity. Well, I, I don't actually know what character I haven't played. I've played Gilead, I've played Gordon, it's the tank. I'm playing the tank. So, tank is slower, starts with the shotgun, feels a little faster than usual. Uh, this is a character where uh, I will not pick up Blubber if it gives me the option to. So there's a fun thing you can do that I'm not going to make extensive use of. I'm just going to show it off and it's then going to be patched very shortly because Mike already knows about it. But basically, with any weapon, not just this one, when you don't have a super weapon or when you do, uh, what you can do is shoot, press shift or whatever you have super weapon keyed to. And uh, let's see, is mine shift? No, mine's Q. Okay, so whatever you have super weapon keyed to. And then it'll think you change weapons, but since you don't have another one, you'll still have it out, so you can do this. And just machine gun your shotgun. Or whatever other weapon. Like I said, though, I'm not going to make use of it, but it's a ton of fun. Uh, it's way too broken. <laughs> to say the least, it's incredibly broken. But you know. Now you know. So this is the perfect first boss to fight. We are going to immediately get a double jump, which is awesome. And then I'm just going to make sure to pick everything up. God, there's so much super ammo right now. Uh, I don't need that as much as I need uh, the golden heart, which totally saved us last time. Oh, mini, mini boss over there. So, yeah. You can fire lots of shotgun stuff and do lots of damage. And it's pretty awesome. But it's kind of broken and would make this run so incredibly easy that I don't want to do it. Though, sometimes it might be so annoying that, like, this fight, pretty annoying, but I, oh my god, every time we get a random power-up. This item needs to stop showing up, I don't want it. I just want normal power-ups, and it can keep appearing, that's the thing, it's not like one and done, it just, it just keeps, keeps on keeping on, being like, hey, you want another thing? And I'm like, no, I don't, I have what I want, already. It's really quite a sad situation we find ourselves in. But there's still lots of... what? A bomba. There's still lots of items that I want to see for the first time, even if I know what they do, and then there are still some I don't know the function of, even, which makes this fun. I'm quite excited for that. And, well, hopefully we find something in this here shop that I probably can't afford. But we'll see. There's one item, the bloody doubloon, which is incredibly overpowered as long as you get at least a few heart drops because you can just you pay health but not health containers to buy items and it's super broken super good angel wings 325 I really want that I'm gonna see if I can save up for it on this floor there's actually a reasonable chance provided there are more than these three rooms which there might or might not be uh, and I don't know if that's what Mike was talking about adding like I don't know if he added it yet but he was talking earlier about having a purchasable double jump item where you get like flight or a bunch of other jumps if you also have the double jump. I would like it if that were the case if I could get an at least one extra jump is still a lot so I'd like it if that's at all a possibility but what it's looking like right now is that I'm not gonna be able to get enough loot because there are no freaking Gileads. I need Gileads to get good loot. Don't do this to me. Don't do a game. 231 and probably only one room left. No! It's such a bad room, too. Oh well, I will just get the horseshoe and then hopefully we'll be able to get everything for the rest of the run. Although there is something to be said about getting uh, the winged foot, but I think that I will get speed ups throughout the course of this run regardless. So, oh my god, we can't even get the horseshoe. I'm not buying the winged foot. God, that sucks. There's nothing I can do about this either. I have no... Uh, okay, let's get out of here. That really sucks that I couldn't... I wanted to know what they did. I really wanted to know. Okay, let's get out of here. Maybe on this floor they'll be there again. That would be pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure that the fire rate thing is going to be patched because it's super broken. Oops, I actually just got hit by a Jimbabwe. That's a little embarrassing. Uh, something's alive, there you are. Because it's super broken. It makes a lot of things way too easy. Okay, stay away from me. Tenchies. 
No. Oh, really? I will kill you. And then you, you're dead. I stood on a barrel, and that's a bad place to stand, because you have to easily get hit. So let's see what's in here. Bloody doubloon. What did I say I wanted? So now, that costs four health, and that costs two health. How much health is laying around? I want to know. I'll probably fight the boss, and there will be a handful of health laying around there as well. Uh, okay, so that's one heart, and that's it so far. Let's see what we get from the boss. And, uh, I mean, double length invincibility is a pretty good thing to get, even for four, four health, that's amazing. Oh, this is actually exactly the boss I wanted to fight, since I said I didn't want Blubber as the tank. So, great. I feel like at some point I have to show off just... I did show off just how overpowered this is. This is just me trying to make excuses to use the glitch where I fire incredibly fast with the shotgun. But it's not its not a good idea. I shouldn't do it. It's just too cheesy. It's too cheesy. This is weird lighting getting on Skeleto here. That's alright. Skeleto is dead. Now just for the spiders. Did we get, like, no heart drops here? Is that what you're trying to tell me? We got one. So there are two hearts laying around. We've got three armor. I'll do it. I mean, extra invincibility is really useful. So, see? Five out of nine. It's not heart containers, it's just hearts. It's so good to have the bloody balloon. All you have to do is manage your health drops, and of course that means it's a little more important to keep your health instead of taking damage. It's just that much more important. But it's just so good, because you can afford pretty much anything. That's a $350 item, though. So, it does probably get relatively expensive. Still, having a longer invincibility timer is super good. It doubles it, so we, we have, like... What do we have right now? We have one second normally, so I guess we have two seconds now. I think. No, we have 0.5 seconds. I'm th what I'm thinking of is with flip-flops. Flip-flops, you have one second of lava invincibility. No, you have two seconds instead of one second. There you go. So you have one second of lava invincibility. If you get hit by lava or acid, you will have one second before you can get hit again. But if you get hit by a normal enemy, you only have, what, like, you have half a second of invincibility. And uh, Green's Ovaries doubles your invincibility for everything. So with flip-flops, you have four seconds on lava instead of just two. But for normal, you just have one second instead of half a second. So there you go. Problem, mystery, solved. And here's our mini-boss, so I'm, I'm happy about that. By the way, this money, pretty much worthless now. But that's okay. That is okay. Alright, Russell shouldn't be too bad. Okay, can you die? Thanks. We're back up to full health, which is nice. And I also do have this um, golden heart, so if something gets really bad due to my overzealous purchasing habits, I can just get full health. Which makes this even more valuable as an uh, a power-up, I guess. That's awesome. I like this combination. Okay. Boom, and we get... Holy water, full health. Had I only known... Oh, that's another thing that's just going to clog up stuff because it can keep appearing for mini-bosses, I'm sure. Mini-bosses are becoming more and more useless, I have to say. So, if there are going to be two hearts laying around, then I can justify a purchase on that armor box. Which, I mean, honestly, it has to be. It's a positive trade no matter what, because I think that the minimum they can give is like three health. So, there's no reason for me not to do it, and I totally will do it. But, if I can do it for free, that's even better. I don't want to go this way. So, there's the goal. Okay. Hello, Gilead. Of course I got it. Oh, you don't even have to keep clicking. You can just keep pressing Q or Shift or whatever you have. That's cool. But really, if I just continued to use that strategy, this game would actually get pretty easy. So I'm going to avoid it because I like a challenge in this game. I like that this game is something I can't win at consistently. So I'm going to try not winning consistently. Though I feel like I could use it to rush through the early game where it's pretty easy, although I still take damage in the early game, so it's kind of unfair if I do that. So there's easily easily two health laying around, which means I'll go ahead and grab the armor box, because there's no reason not to. 
and we got like five armor for that. So that was a positive trade that also happened to be free, so it's even more positive, basically. And I'll go back for the health later if I don't get it on my way. And this makes clearing shops so much easier. What is that? That's Ankh. Invincibility for a bit. I wonder if Invincibility works for um, Bloody Doubloon purchases like it does in Isaac with uh, Soul Heart Deals with the Devil. That would be pretty cool. I don't know. Because I don't know if uh, the Bloody Doubloon makes you take damage or if it just subtracts from your health. And of course it's not a direct analogy because the it doesn't cost us armor in this game. It costs us red hearts, but not containers. So it's, it's a little confusing, but it's... Either it works or it doesn't, and I'll never know. Because I can't do it on this floor, and I'd rather keep the Golden Heart for certainty, because I know that it'll recover my health if I spend most of it. I assume you can kill yourself by taking items with the Bloody Doubloon, so I want to make sure not to do that if possible. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure you probably can. I don't imagine... I can't imagine why you couldn't. Doesn't seem like the kind of thing that this game would stop you from doing. Although maybe it does, because it's like, you can't afford that. But if you can just afford it, I don't know if it'll let you. So if you can't afford it, it might not. I don't know. Okay, let's get to the third floor, though. Feeling pretty good so far. Yay. The screen vibration is so, so much. All right. Third floor. Not too bad yet, but it's not amazing. It's not like the simplest thing in the world. Okay, Bomba. Mess with the best, die like the rest, as they say. Okay. I have all this money I'm not going to need. I'm glad I didn't buy the horseshoe after all. Finding the boss immediately, that's pretty nice, especially if we're fighting, I guess, Omni. But I kind of want to cheese Omni, Omni because that Bomba is stuck there. <laughs> uh, no, I kind of want to cheese Omni because I'll definitely be get hit from it. Because I have no extra damage and I don't shoot often enough. I have no extra fire rate. There's nothing going for me here. And I'd rather not tank some damage that I could avoid. I don't know. It's a tough call. And also because I didn't use shift. Eh, I'm not going to. Uh, using the Q key is really inconvenient to switch right now. So, yeah. I feel so much worse about cheesing this game than I do about Isaac. It's like, I can probably win at Isaac either way. Whereas in this game, I have a real tough time winning most of the time. Oh my god, I got hit twice. Because I tried to employ some next level new strats of standing mostly still. <laughs> Alright, so we got a speed up there. Not bad. Not amazing, but it's not bad. See, I don't fear lava rooms on the third floor, because there's no reason to. They're not threatening. Okay, so we get cannonball, rocket launcher, can of beans. Someone was saying that the can of beans might not even work. Uh, but let's see, four and three is seven of my health. I don't think there's any health laying around. I don't know what cannonball does, but I want it. Damage up, fire rate down. Oh, God. <laughs> well, eat it. I can cheese you. I kind of want can of beans, but we'll see what our health situation looks like uh, after a little bit more. Because that it'd be nice to have uh, damage to close by enemies, if it works. So, I, I don't know if it works. Okay, there are two hearts here, which means that it's pretty likely I'm going to go buy the can of beans for four. But again, after some more exploring, because I don't have any of that health now. And yes, I still have my golden heart. But I don't want to spend it when I don't need to. If I can, I don't want to spend it unless I'm actually dying from enemies. But I might have the opportunity to get strong enough that it doesn't matter because of all of the items I can buy. Who knows? Okay, I really need a fire rate up. I don't know how much of a damage up that is, but the fire rate down is pretty significant without the fact that my fire rate is technically not limited except by how fast I can press the Q key. So I'm just gonna avoid that. Alright, you all stay away from me. Not y'all. I didn't say y'all. Okay. And then there are the Bombas that I should have left in a position where I can easily kill them. Yeah. 
I'm feeling pretty good about this run. Bloody Dabloon is a really good item, though. So I don't know if I can attribute this, like, all to myself, mostly to myself. I mean, it was, I knew what it did, and I took it, and it was smart for that. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, there we go. You need to not be here. There you go. Perfect. So we're done with this room. Got another armor. We're at 9 and 9. That's pretty good. There's one heart laying around. So I can make use of that for my can of beans purchase. And then, well... By the way, it was confirmed, apparently, a while ago, that uh, Blowfish was a damage down. Which sucks. But it is what it is. I like the item a little less now, knowing that. I can't believe I never noticed before then, though. It's a little crazy of me. Still, I like the item a little less because of that, but it's still a good item. Alright. Let's fight the mini-boss. We've got probably enough health laying around that I'm happy. Wow, one-shotted. Okay, so I'm probably definitely purchasing can of beans. I would imagine, at least. Let's see what this mini-boss gives us. Hopefully something really good. Hopefully something really good. Shield Lover. You know, I'm okay with that, even though that lowers our heart drops. If I have enough armor that I can make up for it, then I don't mind the fact that it's going to be a little tougher to use the Bloody Doubloon. Because I don't have Iron Heart, so I can't be like, oh yeah, I'll just take all of the health in the world and then this won't matter. Oh my god, Iron Heart plus Bloody Doubloon? That's broken. That is so broken. Except not, kind of. It's, it's, it's interesting. There we go. So I'm at 8 armor right now. There's no other health laying around, but there's totally enough, maybe. There's one shy. I can't believe that hit me. Twice! Oh my god. Why don't I just lose it all right now? Just take this run and throw it in the trash. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, sniped. Okay, so we're done with this floor, and... Uh, where am I? There I am. Okay, so we'll go through here. We'll find our way to the can of beans. We'll purchase it. We'll go grab that health, and then we'll be on our way to the next floor. 347 useless dollars. That's okay. So that costs us four. We're only going to get back, like, two, but we still have a pretty fair amount remaining for us to use. And the Golden Heart, which, again, I would like to use as a tool to stay alive rather than to fund my unhealthy purchasing habits. We shall see. Okay, we pick that up pretty much immediately. And we get this one, and then we head right back. And 7 out of 9, 6 out of infinity. We're okay. For a while. So let's get on with it. See if we can find anything interesting in the next shop. <laughs> Health boxes, potentially profitable purchases. That's a funny thing to think about. I don't know if uh, it prevents health boxes from happening. But, um, yeah. It's fun. It's funny how little money I have right now. Okay, now I'm going to do a little bit more, slightly more intelligent scouting for things. Okay. Okay, let's get out of here. Can you die? What? Invincible Scorches. Well, that was garbage and a half. I lost all of my armor. <sighs> and this is why I wanted to save that item. Just in case of such a scary occurrence as this. Of course, depending on what's in this shop, maybe I'll go all in and use my golden heart. It'd be nice if I could find another one. Maybe this mini boss will give me one. Through another, like, Tower of the Gods or whatever it's called. 
Almost jumped right into that shot, Jim Bobwe. Almost got me. Okay, what do we get? Gilead's gun. Pretty good, but not what I'm after. Shop, what do you have for me? Angel wings, four health. Rabbit's foot, actually really good. Uh, I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to take the rabbit's foot for more power-up drops. I'm going to take the angel wings for double jump. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. And then I'm going to go... Yep, I can fly now. So that's exactly what it does. So it normally is a double jump, but since I already have the double jump, I can fly. Which means I fear nothing. Yeah, this is... I don't think there's a limited number of jumps, just like there used to not be from uh, the wings that I already had. So, this is a, this harkens back to the early times in the series with the more original versions of the game. I didn't get in as early as some people, but still, this used to be most runs. Actually, I think it was every run because there were like not enough bosses and mini-bosses to prevent this thing. So, Rabbit's Foot also going to increase our power-up drops, which means we should be able to recover and get another Golden Heart, ideally. Ideally. Okay. So we'll see about that. And I don't really have to fear any rooms because of my flight now, which is nice. Okay, stay away from me. Oh, this item combination is so busted. Being able to fly, or jump infinitely, really. I'm too much of a fan of this. Oh, oh how did that not kill you? Garbage. And a half. Okay, get me out of there. My fire rate's still really low. I'd like more of that. Fearless. Do I move faster if I keep jumping because of bunny hopping and it's still slightly... Yeah, we definitely go faster if I keep jumping. 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 Because of how bunny hopping works. It still works. It's just nerfed a lot. So you still gain speed when you jump, it's just not nearly as much as you used to. So basically I can go really fast if I just keep jumping. Which is awesome. That's all I have to say about that. And now there's pretty much no way I'm going to be using the glitch to fire more with a shotgun. Because there are too many buttons I already have to press. Keys, really. That's an onk. We can test that out on the next shop, I guess. There's a bomb box, and I mean it only cost me one health to take. So I could test it now, but I think that there are more valuable times to test it. And I'll still only take something if I can afford it, just in case the Ankh doesn't work with it. I think that'd be so cool if it did, though. So very cool. Alright, Ankh, you're mine. Oh, hello. There we go. Okay. Same room again. Fine, I can deal with that. Alright, I just want to kill the Scorches, they're important to kill. For more power-up drops, I don't feel like I'm getting very many power-up drops. I guess more than none doesn't have to be much more than none. Because it is still more as long as there's at least one of them. Oh, hi Bomba. What's alive over there? And now that we don't really need all of the coin loot, we're getting all the coin loot. Is that surprising? No. Hearts are cool, though. I don't have anything to buy with them right now, but having the options available, totally cool with that. In fact, I would go so far as to say I'm a fan. Okay. Okay. There we go. God, it's so weird having all these jumps again. It's been a long time. And I fear no rooms, I'm just going everywhere, and everything. I'm going everything. Alright. Ah, this is, I like flight. Best combination, 2013. There we go. I'm not taking nearly as much damage now. I wonder why, right? But at least this is intended to be in the game, so you can't be like, oh, it's so broken, I hate you for using this combination, whereas you totally could if I were just, like, shotgun spamming. So, th this is fair. I mean, it's as fair as brokenness like this can be. There we go. 
can't believe I weaved through that. And there's still some items that I know of that we haven't seen at all, or that I haven't seen at all. And uh, would love, I'd love to. And then there are probably some items that I don't know of and I haven't seen. So I would love to see those as well. I mean, I hadn't seen angel wings at all until now. So that's pretty cool. Okay, you die. Then you die. And who's our boss? I thought it might be Hans. Alright, so I need to use my bunny hopping ability to run away. And staying up here, I don't think... Actually, no. Hans can totally hit me because his chainsaw has a broken vertical hitbox. So I want to be careful and stay away from him. But at least with the bunny hopping bonus, I am fast enough to stay away. So that's good. We're going to get a health up by 2 and 5 armor from this fight. Oh, I got hit there. Those chainsaws are also powerful enough, or have a crazy enough hitbox to hit me. That's cool. Hans is a silly, silly boss, though. He's got, like, such power. Okay. Just gotta stay away from him, though. And then stay away from this attack. Good. This is what the game used to feel like. And I kind of like that there's a way to have that right now. Okay, we've been everywhere we need to go. I don't feel like I need to explore continuously. We've been to the shop and everything. I'm just going to get out of here. It doesn't fill the health, and that's okay. I should have gone and filled it, but I didn't. It's too late. I forgot that it didn't fill it, honestly. So that's something, and this is something a little more threatening, I think. No, actually, this is exactly where I want to be. Okay, so now we have ceiling monkeys to deal with. Which means that life is a sad, sad place. Until they're dealt with, and then it's not so sad a place. Why am I even going here? There's no reason to. A uh, piece of eight, I don't know what that does. Laser rifle, health three, yeah. So let's try this. Um, geez, health five. That's Let's just do the mystery box. Okay, it still happens. A bucket of tar is full ammo, so... Yeah, Ankh doesn't give us the invincibility as far as taking stuff. The more you know. And now I want to get some health before I think about taking the laser rifle or the piece of eight. I don't know what the piece of eight does. I don't know if I ever did. I might have. Someone might have told me, or Mike might have told me, or Mike might have gotten it on his stream where he was playtesting and I was watching that for a bit. I don't know. There are some options. Some ways that I might know. This room is still kind of scary. I'm going to be totally honest. I don't feel super comfortable in this room yet. Oh, darn, and that's pretty much why. Oh, there's another... Look at you, Mr. Lecter. Okay, there we go. It's all about strategery and jumping. God, it's so disheartening. Not disheartening, it's just disconcerting to go down near the lava like that. Knowing, or feeling like, there's only one extra jump for you to have. When in reality, I have as many as I want. Alright, I can do this room. Oh, I'm too fast for that, Gilead. Too fast. Three fast, five you. Okay. There's still a... ceiling monkey, but I killed it with that explosion. It doesn't get more perfect than that. It's funny how hard this game still is. Like, it's a lot easier, but it's not simple. Stay away from them. Stay close to the walls so the lectures don't hit me. Or so they have less of a chance to hit me. And then don't forget about the stupid ceiling monkey. Okay, and it's all about strategic dropping, not jumping for a little bit, so that the shots from the lectures can't chase me down. There we go. And then, you know, jumping again. So that, yeah, shots go away. So we found our boss, but we still haven't found the mini-boss, and I'm definitely going to explore for it. Because I'll take whatever I can get. Spega is going to give us a damage up, as well as a poison, which I don't think... I mean, it can't lower our damage this time. It's only half as much poison strength as um, the Blowfish, which makes sense, because it's not lowering our damage, so it's a lesser cost. Or no cost for a lesser benefit, which is fine. Oh, I keep getting hit by you, Spega. Want to not hit me? Okay, there we go. 
And now that we've handled all of the egg sacs so that no little spiders are spawning, I'm just gonna cheese it. Just gonna cheese it. Keep jumping so we go really fast, and then keep shooting. Until eventually Spaga dies. Eventually. It'll happen. Okay, the, that's a lot of shots. Okay, there we go. Had to get them away from me. Okay. Alright, this is getting a little silly. Okay, now it's dead. No homing shots chasing us. Okay, I need, like, a better view of all these spiders. That's assault. That doubles our rate of fire and our damage, as it turns out. Uh, okay. Everything's dead. And I don't have anything else, so I may as well take it. Then let's grab our damage up. And poison bonus. And see that this room is annoying, but totally doable. I don't think that the arrows will hit me if I go over their arc. I guess we'll probably find out shortly as I continue circling this room. Darn, I missed the, the barrel. Okay, you monkeys. Nope, never mind. Never mind my plans. My plans don't matter. I tried. Uh, is one of them dead, actually? I think it might be. I have full health again, so I could go back and buy something from the shop, which I might do. Just look around ever so carefully. I don't think there's any room off of this, but I'm going to go to it anyway. Okay, there's no room that I couldn't have accessed otherwise. Give me my poison. Poison this poor monkey. It's not a poor monkey. It's a jerk of a monkey. Okay, one of you's got to die. Something's got to give. I don't actually know what song that's from. I forgot. Okay, we're kind of headed the opposite way of the shop as well, so I'm not likely to find something that pleases me enough. Okay, I need to get away from where I am and then start jumping. Okay, good. We have a good amount of damage though, because we have gotten two damage ups, not just one. Oh, I let myself get hit there. Oh, I thought I got hit again, but I didn't. So I'm at three armor, and I can't wait to use this um, assault thing, assault power up on a boss. Oh, I could have just used it on Spega. No, I got it after Spega. Okay. Runner increases our speed drastically for a little while. Pretty cool. If I can save this power up for the final boss, then I think I am pretty much guaranteed to win. Oh, this time it's hitting the top of the door. Okay, I don't really need to go there. Let's try doing this a little more strategically, with a little more strategery. See, I don't know why that's a little different. I guess the room is ever so slightly differently laid out, like the angling of the thing or whatever. That's fine, too. Okay. Uh, okay, I need to look through here first. Okay, perfect. Whee! Oh, I almost was doing that right. There's a bob and a weave to it. Uh, Ceiling Monkey is still after me, as it turns out. I took one hit. That's not actually that bad. I mean, it is kind of bad, because I need to keep as much health as I can, especially armor, so that I... Oh, you're not dead. So that I can keep trading my health for beautiful, beautiful items. Okay, hello. I don't know this dude's name can't remember it. Oh man, I knew that was going to happen as it was as I was watching it. Okay, there we go. Now it's just this dude alone and that's pretty simple. All right. What item are you going to give me? What is that? Oh yeah, it's the mushroom. Okay, so now I'm tiny, which means I have an even smaller hitbox. And uh, enemies are going to have a tougher time hitting me. And yes, I'm really short. It's kind of hilarious. I don't know if... I don't think my jump height or anything is affected. Which is nice. 
there's not a ton of health laying around. So let's see, what do I want from the shop? Did I ever get the can of beans? I actually can't remember. I think I did. Oh, piece of eight. I want to know what it does, so let's do it. Speed and damage up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like it. That was totally worth it. Because since I have, like, no fire rate, I need all the damage I can get. And the speed... Oh, I accidentally did an extra room. Okay, that's fine. Well, let's do it. Make this happen. Uh, why am I stuck? Oh, my God. Okay, this room's a little more hazardous than I thought it was. That's cool. Can you die? Thanks. Ganguses. Okay, don't fall in. God, this jumping business is so overpowered. It's a great and I love it. Okay. Oh man, I'm just faster than them on straightaways faster than them on straightaways as well now. That's awesome. Okay, so where was I going? Mini boss. I'm so short, it's hilarious. It's so hilarious. Okay, so we're at 7 health, 10 health with uh, our armor. A little worrisome. Oh my god, I'm so fast with the whole bunny hopping business. And here we are leaving. Oh, not if I miss. Okay. Yeah, let's get out of here. I, I didn't count as in the elevator, I guess. Because I'm kind of glitching out. I don't want to do that. I think that the mini, the mushroom might break things a little bit. Okay, I don't want to mess with that room. Guess I'm going to mess with this room first. Uh, we're on the sixth floor, not the seventh, so we're not dealing with Nazis yet. Those dudes suck. Okay, good. What's alive right now? Oh, another one of those bomb dudes. Who actually just hit me? I can't allow that right now. I need health most have over a thousand dollars that didn't you that hasn't happened in a while okay this room's doable this is one of the tougher rooms when you can't fly but suddenly game broken what can I say uh, final boss is definitely where I want to use assault by the way if I can save it that long and then we'll see what's in this shop the nice thing is uh, well I, I don't have a lot of health so I can't necessarily justify too much purchasing so we'll, we'll see how it looks. It really depends on what's in here. Like, if it's piracy, I have no idea what that does, but I can't afford fool. I want to know what shell does. I want to know what piracy does. And I know what fool does. Doubles our damage output and intake. This, yeah, I was going to say. Looks like it has to be blowfish. So we're going to pick up the blowfish, which is damage down, but more poison damage. Uh, with assault, I feel okay about that, kind of. If there's a bunch of health laying around, then I'm really, really excited to try and go for some other item in there. Probably piracy is what I want to know the most, because it's also cheaper than the shell. I know what neither does, though. So, Gotta experiment when possible. Okay, they're all gone. Got a little bit of health, and we're taking the blowfish even though it's a damage down. See, nine health. And for three, we can take piracy. Blood money. That doesn't help me. I don't know what blood money is going to do for me. All right, let's do this room and see what happens. Do I get money for killing enemies, maybe? Because that would do it. No? That wasn't it, clearly, at least. Because I think I just picked up some money on my way. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I might never know. If I get back to nearly full health, I'll also totally buy the other thing. Uh, yeah. Wow, my damage is actually still pretty good for having taken a damage down. I mean, it's not a significant one. But it is one. Okay, I need to stay away from all these homing shots. And they need to stay away from me. Okay, there we go. 
How about you not flip like that? You don't have double jumps. I have infinite jumps. Oh god, if I got the Genghis Soul, life would be over. Everyone would get motion sick. <laughs> like, everyone. Because I can infinitely flip. I don't want that at all. Let's see, what is this? Hot feet. I don't know what that does necessarily, so I'm not even gonna bother. All right, I'm I'm mini. I was like, this. What is going on in my life? Oh yeah, I'm mini. Okay, I know that that's not a room, but I don't know if that's a room. I can find out by going over yonder. All right, never mind. I have to go the longer way. Eight health, almost enough to take the five health item. Let's see, that's a room. This is a room that actually isn't that bad. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Okay. And with... Wait, is the ceiling monkey dead? Or am I just not seeing it and am threatened constantly because of that? I think... It, I mean, I guess it's obviously dead. And here we are at almost full health. That's kind of amazing. I can go buy that thing soon. No. Yeah, what's the worst that can happen? I could get hit immediately. That would suck, right? I have two armor. And I don't have the recovery to make another health purchase worthwhile. But at the same time, I can. Like, I can just purchase it and then probably die because of it, but that's okay. Right? I think that we expect that I can win this run. If I don't do anything stupid. Which, obviously, I'd prefer to do because it's more fun. Want to check. Okay, that's not the room. What about over here? Oh, that's annoying to check. Alright, let's do the other one. I can make this work. Okay, that was, that's mostly the scary part done, although I got hit by that and I can't keep doing that. Because it, it, once one Gilead's gone, the other one's moved, and, well, the side Gilead's. The other one's moved and you don't have to worry about it being in the way of your circle strafing. Which, well, I don't know, I think we're scared. I think we're starting to get scared. Almost to full health, I think. I mean, obviously, actually. But I think I was trying to say that I think there's something in there that would get me to full health. I guess I'll keep taking the money. I'm so glad we could afford the bloody doubloon. Oh my god, where is the mini boss? Where is this gosh darn mini boss? Killed you. Almost let that happen. Okay, that handles them. I don't know why I did this room, actually. There was no reason to, except the fact that it was easy. Still at 10 out of 11 health. 5 would take us to 5 and 3, which is scary. It's a scary place to be. Okay, don't need to do that room. Oh my god, where? Oh, there it is. Oh, this is a little scary. I don't like this room. Why can you hit me? There we go. Now I think I'm alright. I don't want to jump because of the arrows. The arrows scare me, but here I am starting to take real damage. The jumping is my... my crutch. It's the only reason I'm doing well. Alright, let's see what's in the shop. Or the mini boss. What am I talking about? I've been to the shop. I know it's in the shop. Okay. I might be able to outrun Lilith here, like constantly, if I just keep up with the jumping. I can just stay away from it. That's hilarious. I have it in a lock then, where it can't catch me, and I don't think it's going to do the other attack unless it can attack me. And if it can't attack me right now, get at me. So, easiest Lilith fight ever. <laughs> it's just silly. 
And for it, we get the magnet, which is actually pretty nice to bring all of our drops toward us. And I'm going to head to the next floor without making that purchase because it would totally kill me. If only I had just had another heart drop, another, like, golden heart drop. Uh, okay, we just go straight. All I needed with my life. And then, fool. Yeah, I think we can see why that's a terrible idea. I want to know what you do, Shell. I'd die. Would I die? Would I die? Hearts before armor? What? No. No. Oh god, what have I done? Assuming that means that I lose health before I lose armor, which doesn't make much sense as a positive. For its cost, that seems bad, but maybe it means something else and I'm just unaware and that would be great. I don't know. Either way, this is where things get scary because of the Nazis. So I have to be extra careful, especially do that purchase. I had to make it. Fool, though, probably would have gotten me killed. Because every damage we took would do two. Whereas, I mean, yeah, we'd be doing twice as much damage. But, uh, oh boy. Oh boy, would we be scared. Remember we have the magnet. Come out at me. There we go. Don't get caught. Can you die? It's hard to aim at these jerks. Oh, there are two of them, apparently. Okay. Let's see where we're going. Nothing there. Necessarily, at least. Nothing here, necessarily. And nothing here, necessarily. So, let's see what the least threatening looking room is. I'd say this one, probably. I mean, they're all kind of threatening, anyway. Okay, let's try and kill that. I like it how there there isn't a ceiling monkey in this room. That pleases me a lot. Oh, thanks for dying. I'm still only at six health, and that's totally terrifying. Oh, there's another one. Of course there is. For my low fire rate, my damage is good. So I've got that. Can you die? I almost got hit there. I did just recover another one because I saw a heart fly at me. Which was nice. There we go, finally. Mm. Okay, what about this room? Have I already checked this room? No, there's the boss. Alright, and we did manage to save our assault power up for it. So provided I don't lose too much health, I think we've got a chance here. Okay, there we go. And maybe we can recover a little. If the game is feeling moderately kind. We got an armor. Okay, you need to die. There's only one? There are two Nazis. Okay. Ceiling Monkey, you're gonna die first. Oh, that actually went so much more conveniently than expected. Okay. Could this be two victories in a row? It could. We do have 150% poison. Only a small damage down, like three damage ups. Pretty good speed. Flight. Alright, let's do this. And yeah, we're not doing spectacular damage by any means at all. I mean, it's a lot better than what we will be doing when this runs out in, like, 20 seconds. Okay, uh, Skeletos, why don't you die? Ugh, I should focus on the boss during this time. I've taken at least a hit. Oh yeah, I'm taking hearts before armor. That's really kind of terrible. Why would I pay for that? Why would I pay for that? Okay, we're back out of uh, the fire rate and damage. Okay, let's just chuck in some bombs here. Try to handle as many of the spiders as possible. I need to get a little closer for the bombing because um, they explode too soon. Because they're short fuse now. Okay. I might have just taken another hit. Did. This boss has so much health now. Okay, I can fight six eyes if I have to. I just like to not even have to fight one boss. Okay, the boss is going to get itself killed. 
just from my poison. Boss. Boss is dead. Now I just need to not take four hits unless unless the armor is actually worthless now. Because that, that would suck. That would suck a lot. We discovered a lot of new items here. Combinations, etc., etc. And I liked this run. I like this run a great deal. Chucking some bombs and not kill myself with them. Oh my god. This should not be so close against some eyes. Eyes are easy. Okay. Alright. We're done. Oh my god, a spider. If I had died to that spider, I would have been so sad. So sad. But I'm out of here. Oh, I did it again. Alright, we're done. We actually beat Paranautical Activity yet again. So let us watch the credits again. There are some cool items now. Cool combinations, all that good stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this run. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.